Today we're going to demonstrate building a, an LMR 240 assembly using our CST 240 tool, our no braid trim easy connectors, and our new WSB 240 IP67 boots. These boots have taken the place of the traditional adhesive lined shrink boots. Actually the connectors still come packaged with these adhesive lined boots, but this is an option. You, you can buy these in packs of 10, uh, they're tested IP67, add additional strain relief and are very easy to use and don't require a heat source out in the field. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do, the packets, they come with a pack of lubricant, silicone lubricant. But this material here, P80, you can buy it online, P-80 emulsion, very easy to use, biodegradable. All it takes is a drop. Place a little drop on the cable like so. Put that boot on there and just slide that boot back. And give yourself enough room to work. You take your CST 248 tool, take side one, make sure it's cleaned out, place it over the cable, start to spin and push down on that thumb switch. Once you've made one or two revolutions, keep it depressed, pull it off, expose the center conductor, flip it around the side two, make sure side two is set for straight, and you just spin that until it spins freely, just like so. At that point, you take your crimp ferrule, place it over the cable, just fan out your round wire braids. You take your X-Series no braid trim connector with the ribs in the back. Get started. Give like a push, you feel that stop. Give it another push. That's those fingers, those brilliant copper spring fingers riding up on the center conductor. Bring your ferrule up. No need to trim the braid wires right where you want them to be. Take your CT240 tool. It's the largest uh, hex on the tool. You crimp it just once. You crimp it right behind the connector, like so. At that point, take just another drop of lubricant, place it on the cable, you take that boot, and you bring it right up to the back of the connector. Just like so. Now you have a boot that's all sealed, strain relief, IP67. Go around the other side, we'll do the same thing. Just go through it fairly quickly. Drop of a lubricant, take your boot, get it started, push it back, give yourself some room to work. You're a little easier if you put the crimp ferrule on first, slide it over the cable, make sure you're, you're clear on side one on the tool, push it in until it stops, start to spin it, and depress that thumb screw. Throw a thumb switch, pop off, and then sometimes it just sticks a little bit. We take that little piece of uh, dielectric off, flip it around the side too. Again, you make sure it's set for straight. Let the tool do the work. Tool spins freely, like so. Take the braid wires, you fan them back just a little bit. You take your easy no braid trim connector, get it started. You push it, you feel it stop, give it a little extra push. Your fingers are riding up on the center conductor. Bring your ferrule back up the right where you want them to be. Take your crimp tool, proper size crimp die. You crimp it just once, right behind the back of the connector. Take your lubricant, just put another drop on the cable, just to make it a little easier to move up. Get a little better drop there. And just pull, pull that right up, like so. and then you're all, you're all set to go. So you have a nice cable with the weather seal boots all locked in place, a little graded for IP67, real good VSWR, exceptionally good pull strength. Thank you.